everyone, so I've just uploaded the um, second episode. Yes, I'm calling it an episode. I know I keep saying that. I don't know if I was going to call it part or episode, but I'm calling it episode because this is the second part of episode two where I'm going to show you how to, well, attempt to show you how to get um, the longest um, rage kill streak. Now, if you see on the left of the screen where the character and the name is, like the character's face and all, um, where that orange thing is flashing, that is the... You know, we'll, we'll start it here first. It might not work, but we'll start here first. So if you hold down the right analog and hold down circle, we'll press the analog and then hold circle. Do not let go of a circle at any time. No, I knew it wasn't going to work. <coughs> now, that's what will happen. Now, if you pick up the, um, hang on. When, when I show you, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go up here first. Because this space up here is where a lot of the enemy units just continuously spawn. And it just makes for awesome epic fighting because it will help you rank up your character. It really will help you level up. Um, really well. They do take quite a while to spawn, I'll admit, but... Oh. Shit. Now what level is you at now? Oh, 139. Okay. The highest um, level you can get up to is 150. So... Wait, where's everyone? Why is there no one spawning? Hang on, I think there's gotta be something down here there goes here. Hang on, um That's odd, there's supposed to be a lot of What? Oh, so I decide to spawn when I leave. I get it. Idiots. You know, normally there's supposed to be way more infantry spawning at the same time. Like, you take out one, um, one band of them, another one will show up. Which is the PC, just like that. That's what I've been wanting to get. So, I, I didn't mean to say that loud. It's just loud, the game's just pretty loud in my ears at the moment. So, I know it's not loud on you, and that's great, so. Thanks, Guan Yu, you just possibly ruined it. But that was also kind of my fault because I got him as a bodyguard. And if you stand next to the bodyguard, then you know, you'll get that. Oh, that was so close. That was not bad. Although I would like it to try and be a bit longer, but it's not bad. Oh, by the way, I am not timing it. <laughs> I, I should be, if you if you want to try and attempt to do the longest one, I know, but... Oh well. Can I get... Can you do fire attack running? Oh yeah, you can. 
Sanctify, why don't you go... No, actually, don't do that. That might ruin it. I don't... I have no idea. Thanks. I'm a bit disappointed with the infantry though, because I, because in the previous Dice Wars games, like Dice Wars 5, 4, 3, and 2, like the yellow turbans have their own little outfits, like uniforms, but now they all look the exact same, including the Nanmans, like, I am a bit disappointed with that. Like, in my opinion, it really would make them stand out. I mean, I know they're kind of wearing like turbans on their heads a little bit, but... But they had their own outfits, and they had their own little yellow banner, like, turbans around their head. To make them stand out. And I think Dice Wars 6 had it too. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I've got to replay that. And, oh, here we go. Okay. Let's do this. The dragons roar! That was lame. I oh, know, I like picking up things. These are attack and defense times too. Like, the attack one is obviously the picture of an axe. axe. And, um, oh, that's what I would like. Because this blue one is pretty much the all health. Like, you fill up your musu and your life. It just fills up everything, and it really helps. Alright, so Leon, your turn. Start a fire attack. Another one. Everything is going according to my plan. Now, to begin my strategy. Shit. I love Zhang Fei's missile attack. Oh yeah, by the way, I should also remind you, most of the characters are in uh, DLC costume. Like from previous Dice Wars titles. Should remind you of that since the first episode, but my bad. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm going to wait for more units to spawn. There they are. Let's do this. Is that another one? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, 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 yeah, that really helps. That wasn't bad. Slightly not bad. Uh, I'll do a couple more rounds and I'll finish up the level of the rage attack, so... Besides, this is actually pretty fun to just sit here and just, you know, hack and slash all these spawning enemies.
Thanks, Sanjao. Yeah, do one more attack. Oh, I even got um, Dance Wars 8 Empires as well. So I am thinking about doing gameplay on that too. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Get on here, come back up here. There was one surrounding. Ah! See, sometimes it's good for a character to move fast so you can easily pick them up quicker, but it's also pretty hard. It's not that good at all. Ah, there was a blue one there too. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Alright, you know what? Since we may not be able to get... Um... Alright, uh, you guys are just gonna go do what you want. And, um... I'll try one more time. It's probably not going to work, but... Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go complete the stage, since this is... We're not going to get there, I don't think. If there's any secret to doing it, let me know in the comments. So I'll know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I'm just going to take care of these guys. Uh, take out Huang Fu Song and Su Chan. Uh, 
Right, now we can take out the enemy commander, which is Hedgy. That was easy. Hergene doesn't technically die until the 10 Unix Rebellion. Which is in this game. I think you get it in the Extreme Legends pack. Hurrah! The Han has fallen, long live the yellow turbans. Oh, was well, Yun leveled up to 142 on that round? That's a pretty good round anyway. Um, yeah. I don't really focus on battle objectives that much, so <laughs> we're going to be ignoring some of that. Although, I think one of them would be good. Um, oh, we should have done this one, the Poison Trap one. Trigger Poison Trap at Eastern Garrison. I think that's where most of the enemies spawn. I'm not 100% sure on that, honestly. I don't really pay attention to where everything is. I mean, I know what the maps look like, but... Oh, well. uh, all his over-evaluation is B. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye!